Hi, Peter Hobson from Omnitables Australia here. We're just going to go through a quick video on how to upgrade a stationary table to an elevation table. We'll go through the steps you need to undertake plus also the equipment you'll need to make this happen quickly and easily. All right, the first step in replacing is remove the headpiece. So loosen it sufficiently until it's free of movement and just take the headpiece out. Just all you're doing is just removing a portion of the weight from the end of the table. Next step is to remove the locking nuts to allow the table to come up completely so we get access to the bolts. So once it's up to its full length, you get easy access to these, these two bolts. Make sure you've got sufficient leverage and to loosen it counterclockwise. As a cautionary note, there's only two bolts now holding the top of the table in. Allow it to come back down. So we moved the last two bolts, which are easily accessible with the pelvic section raised. At this point, as these become loose, the table will become a little bit top heavy. So just, you will need another person to assist you in this process. So as you just balance the table, it comes out quite easily. And then it's a matter of having someone to assist you in moving the top portion of the table onto a carpeted area so don't damage any portion of the table. Okay, so here we are. What we're going to do is uh, showing you how to replace an actuator. So what you've got is your base with your head and the unit mixed off or the pillar taken off. And so now we're just going to go through the steps to actually add the component tree in. Gentlemen. So what we tend to do is just pack it up so you can get access to underneath it. Put the actuator on top and with the four bolts, we just have sufficient area where we can get our hands underneath to screw it in, just a finger tightness. Okay, we're good. Right down. So what we do now, once we've got it just up to finger tightness, we'll then take the unit laid onto its side get access to the bolts from underneath. And from here we're just doing it, tightening the tension to make sure that it's actively tight for the vibration of the table that it won't come loose. Okay, and now we're ready to place the top cleaver back on top. We've got this unit mounted ready for shipping. As you can see, when we place the actuator on, we put the cords access to the back of the table. So please make sure you put it on the correct way. You'll have fun if you don't. All right, we're about to lift the top of the table onto the actuator. So it's about lining it up, positioning it so it makes it as easy as possible for you. Remember the head of the table is going to be a little heavier than the base. So once you create some counterbalance, it's easy enough to get the two nuts in just to a finger tightness. Line up the front two. And you'll find you'll be able to use the same bolts that the reading existing tablet you removed initially. And from here it's just a matter of reversing the process where we tighten the table, make sure that the table's at the correct angle, top and base aligned, parallel to each other. Reset the glides of the table, and then your locking nut, 
bien. So we're not putting excessive force into the nuts so you don't thread them. You can have your spring washers and washers to stop it from vibrating loose. And there you are. Simple process, just a matter of replacing the headpiece and you have a table converted from stationary to elevation. Please note, if you're moving from a larger table to a smaller table, you will have your correct length pedals included within your package. So please make sure that the pedals are the correct length. Uh, the worst case scenario is if you've got the longer pedals, the pedals can hit the floor and actually start to raise the base on the floor. You don't want that to happen. You damage the pedals table so and also the actuator. So just make sure you replace your pedals out. Um, they're quite easy, just a matter of working on both sides of the pedals simultaneously and holding all the nuts and washers accordingly. The other thing too is with your table, if it has been a stationary table for some time, you might find it difficult to remove the nuts and bolts that are actually within the table, and you may need to use some leverage to release them. So just use a device with a longer rather than a smaller leverage just to give you a better chance of removing it quite easily. So just removing the spring, it's easy enough to do. To be honest, I actually leave the spring on and take the pedal out and make it easier for myself. <laughs> So take your pick how you want to handle this. It's easy if you can lock with one side and use a ratchet on the other. So you're going to want an 18 mil ratchet to, or spanner as well. Thanks. Kind of twist them. Once they're loose enough, you can do it by hand and just make sure you hold on to the washers and nuts. Slide it back through and easily just slide the unit out and you'll see the washers on the unit as well. Okay, and then you just swap your pedals out and just if you reverse the process, we'll show exactly the same in reverse to install it. Fire the hole. Yep, just line them up. Get your washer in place. So washer and nut. Again, Daniel said an 18 mil. And we just reverse the process. Make sure it's not too tight. If it's too loose, you'll get a little bit of wobble. If it's too tight, you won't get movement from the foot pedal. You want it to be just firm without being too soft. Then lastly, replace the spring. Set up the top. And there you've got that spring return for the foot pedal. And you're good to go.